This is Underwater Audio and today we are going to show you how to enable the voiceover function on your iPod and then how to use it. The following instructions are based off of the specifications taken from Apple's own website. To see more of Apple's in-depth instructions, copy this link into a new window. The first thing to know about the voiceover function is that it is not automatically enabled when you first set up your iPod, so you need to activate it yourself. To enable the voiceover, first, connect your iPod to the computer with your USB cable. Second, select your iPod and click on the Summary button. Go to Voice Feedback. Select Enable Voiceover and click Apply. You can also change what language preference you would like to hear. But remember, the artist name and album title will always remain in their original language. To deactivate the voiceover function, simply reverse the activation process. And to do so, go into iTunes as your iPod is plugged in and click on Summary. Under Voice Feedback, deselect Enable Voiceover and then select Apply. Once the syncing is finished and your voiceover is disabled, if you press the button, you will still hear the battery life you won't hear the song or album title, playlist name, or artist name. After your voiceover is activated, eject your iPod, plug your headphones in, and here's how to use it. If you single press the button while a track is playing, you will hear the title and then artist name. If you double click, you will hear the battery life. If you want to use this function to navigate to another song, press the next button to skip to the next track and the file will be announced. It might take some time to get used to pushing the button down since it is so small. We recommend practicing using the voiceover function outside of your workout so that you can get used to the function changes. One cool function the voiceover has that not a lot of people know about is the ability to change between playlists and songs on your iPod. Let's show you how to do this. Simply press and hold the voiceover button until you hear a single low click which activates the playlist selection and the names of all the categories you have available to listen to on your iPod will follow in this order. Current playlist, all songs, all playlist listed in alphabetical order, all podcasts, and all audiobooks also in alphabetical order. Next, use the forward and back buttons to navigate between these options and press the play button to select the option you want. To restart a playlist, follow all these steps again. The first item on your playlist will always play first, and depending on what setting you have your iPod on, it will play in order or in shuffle mode. Here is a quick guide on how to set your iPod to play the songs in order or shuffle mode. For more information on the general functions of the iPod, check out our YouTube video here. Now you know how to use the voiceover function on the iPod shuffles. If you have any more questions about how to further navigate through iTunes, we have a video here from our channel that can help you out. Please contact our customer service team if you have any more questions or comments, and be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more great and helpful videos.